Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, we're going to be making a Thai chicken curry, pretty fast as well. Let me run through most of the ingredients, there's a few more. Of course, we've got our chicken here. Now, I've just got some chicken breast with no bone and no skin, and I've cut that nice and thin, because I want to cook this quite quickly. I've got some onions, I'm using red sliced on that side. The vegetable I'm using today is carrots, and again, I've cut them really, really thin, so bam, we can cook them fast. Again, you could use zucchini, you could use little baby aubergines, mushrooms, go for whatever you want, or nothing, entirely up to you. Some spring onions, here I've got some ginger, some fresh ginger, which I've cut into little strips. Next to that, I've got some galanga. Now, a lot of people confuse these two. They look fairly similar, completely different tastes. So I just thought I'd show you. There's a piece of ginger, there's a piece of galanga. Kind of just looks, you know, identical in some ways, but very different. So I've got some of that chopped. Garlic, nice sliced. I've got about four cloves there. Here I've got some lime leaves, absolutely wonderful, kind of familiar Thai flavor. I've got a touch of red chili there which I'm gonna add in. You can add that if you want. We're gonna use some coconut milk. We're gonna start off with some sesame seed oil. We're gonna add maybe a little bit of fish sauce and some black pepper. It's really fast. So I just wanna show you one other thing. If you can't get hold of all this stuff, the lime leaves and the, you know, the galangao and whatever. Oh, by the way, I've also got some lemongrass there. Forgot to tell you. So that's a stick of fresh lemongrass, which I've just trimmed the ends off and then beat it. I kind of want to break it down so it kind of opens out and gives it a lovely delicious lemongrass smell. That's going to go in but I'll take it out a bit later. If you chop it up too small it can get a little bit woody. It doesn't taste so great. But what I did want to tell you is if you don't have the lemongrass and all these guys, <coughs> excuse me, go ahead and use these, you know, these kind of Thai curry pastes. I mean this is a blue elephant one. There's thousands of them, you know. They are actually they're one of the things I endorse. Thai paste is brilliant. So if you haven't got all that, don't worry about it at all. You can just go and use some of that stuff and get it from your local supermarket or something. That's about it. Let's go to the cooker. We'll have this done in no time. Okay, let's get moving. I've got a kind of wok here. And as you can see, I'm using some uh, sesame seed oil, which again gives a fantastic nutty flavor. If you want, use a regular oil, no problem. I'm going to start off by dropping in our galangal and our ginger. and our garlic. Yeah, this sesame seed oil, really wonderful, really rich. It's really good on salads as well. So let them just do their thing a little bit, just a few seconds. I'm then gonna go in with that little bit of onion. I'm not using too much today. And then our lime leaves. We need to do these, no need to chop them, but you kind of need to kind of bruise them and kind of fold them over. They're quite noisy when they go in the oil as well, but yeah, you just need to sort of bruise them up, get them in. I love this. I mean, it's just, these are Thai food to me. When I smell the, the lime leaves, it's just, it's just wonderful. It's just happiness. Great. A few more in there. I'm going to get that lemongrass in now. We'll just take that out a bit later. Like I say, if you chop it, it can get a little bit woody in there. Get in your teeth, so keep it in there for fragrance, and then out it comes. Now, if you were going to use one of those uh, can or packets or jars of this curry paste, which, like I say, you go for it, because they're actually really good on the whole. You want to be getting that in about now. I'm also now going to get in my chicken, boneless, skinless chicken. Cut nice and thin. As you can hear, this wok or nice thin pan you need is on a fairly high heat. I'm just going to stir fry this around, keep turning it over all the time. I'll be back in about three or four minutes max. Oh, this is smelling absolutely gorgeous. When you guys do this, you're going to feel the same. Well, I hope anyway. Right, at this stage, let me get in 
some black pepper. Generous pinch. I'm going to drop that little bit of chilli in now. Now I'm going to add some salt, but a really tiny amount. Only that. Because we are also going to add uh, some fish sauce to this, which is very salty. Let's go in with our carrots or your vegetables, whatever you want. Just adding these in for a little bit of colour really. And again, can you see I've cut them so thin. So now for that fish sauce, little touch, which is, it's very salty, so I'll be really careful. And fish sauce and dried shrimps are in loads and loads of Thai food that you, maybe you don't know is in there, but it's, it's in there okay usually. Okay, just one more minute on a high heat, I'm just going to go and grab our coconut milk. Fantastic. So I'm going to use a can today of a uh, coconut milk. Just like a whole can there I've got. In she goes. Fantastic. Still on this high heat. Let's just bring that to a full boil. And we just simmer it for, you know, three or four minutes and it's done. Now, this is possibly not the most authentic chicken Thai curry you're going to see and uh, apologies to all my uh, Thai chefs out there but this is tasty I like it I'm not professing to be an expert in this but this really is tasty I just love all those lovely flavors in there right bring that to a boil which will be in about 60 seconds you know then simmer it for about three to four minutes I'll be back then there we go, that's fantastic. As you can see, that coconut, well I hope you can see that coconut slightly thickened. Once well, in there, just reduced down a little bit. And what I've done also is I just pulled the uh, lemongrass out now. I don't want that in there. It gets in the way quite frankly. It's done its job, fantastic flavour. Now, if you want, you can uh, check that for salt. I mean, I don't think for sure you're going to need more salt in there with that uh, fish sauce and the little touch we put in. You could add some fresh coriander. I'm not going to do that because I've got the wonderful flavour of the, the lime leaves. I am going to sprinkle in some spring onions just because I love that in there. And some of this stuff, which is a dried garlic, which I got last time I was in, in Thailand. I brought a load back with me. It's wonderful. They seem to use it quite a lot there. So I'm going to sprinkle maybe more than I should in. But in that goes. Off goes the heat. Now because the, we, we cut our chicken really nice and thin and it's just breast, skinless, boneless breast. It will cook pretty much instantly. Am I happy with that? Yeah, mm. betcha. I'm really happy with that. I just love mucking around with, you know, all those Thai spices, you know, the lemongrass, the galangal, the, 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 the lime leaves. Just wonderful. But like I say, if you haven't got your hands on that stuff, get some of that Thai paste. Works really well. Hope you enjoyed that. Apologies to all of my um, superior Thai cooks out there. You may send me some emails going, that's not correct. You don't do that. You don't do that. I did do that and it tastes great to me. Lots of love to you all. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you later.